Today we're here at Alpine Divide Campground. Um, it's really beautiful, 8,500 feet, somewhere in their altitude. In Arizona, because um, there's more than one of those. Oh, there is? Mm -hmm. Arizona. Um, we brought the GO trailer with us and uh, the bike. And we want to do our two-year review for this trailer. For the GO. Um, we will uh, talk about what we like and what we don't like about it. Yep. And show you how to uh, put it Set up. it up. Set it up. The GO trailer can carry up to 800 pounds, um, possibly 850. I didn't really look at what it is, but I know it's 800 something. Um, we brought the uh, off-road scooter today, and I'm just going to take this down. Okay. There it is. All right, so first thing when we uh, park the trailer, uh, if you have the GO trailer like this, this particular one, they have a couple of different GO trailers. Um, one without the tent, one square. Anyways, if you have this type of one, um, we brought out our beds and the, uh, the little rods that go through the tent. Um, we have to open up this and we'll grab out the, uh, it's a pretty big storage area pretty yeah, big it's pretty large. it holds all this stuff plus more carpet and paddings and this is just a bit larger paddings yeah. than those here's where we have our our crank yeah. put that down in that hole down there I like that. Like that um so we transported a motorcycle in this that's why it's in this position um and it's pretty sturdy it, it didn't didn't doesn't move much it's all steel it's all connected which is pretty cool so we lower this, that's your step, and we got a little shoe rub off here. We can rub your stones and mud off. Um, so once you crank it up, keep going. Keep going. We, what we're looking for here is a line. There's a bunch of lines, and it tells us that's how far we need to go. I was say, it's really good work. You can't miss the lines. Right here, Tara, stop. There it is. All right. Now we uh, put these down. You want to get those rods? Out of the bag. Just hanging in the bottom. You have to turn it until it goes in. We know what it's going to be like. Okay, that's my turn. There we go. Okay. Jasmine? Now, what do you do from here, Terry? We have to come up here and pull the handle. Open this up. So here's a little handle up here. You pull this, and the whole thing comes down. Yeah. So we have to pull it this way. Yeah, pull it all the way. And it stops right there. All right, and then we pull out these. Like this. All right, so look on your side. what we're doing is each side, there's a little, um, a little loop. loop here and it just gets hooked here. I did the same here, same with the other side. Butterfly, look at the that pretty little. Falling. Same with this side, with the loop. It's pretty simple. Put it in there. Doesn't take that long. That's the first step. Next we do is put the little rods through. And um, you could do it by yourself, but it's good to have two it's people doing this. People. It really is a lot easier. Push. More. Yeah. Okay, so now, now that the rods are out, um, there's an area here, let me do this side first. There's an area here that you have to connect the rod to. It's right here. You do Show it me on this side. Now, this side will be a little more difficult. 
but once you put it in, see how it expands like that real quickly. Look at how that goes. Okay, so even a woman can do it. challenging, but even a woman can do it. Yeah, woman can do this one. We got this side completed. We do the same thing on the next side. Okay, so you just put on this um, top rain, uh, what yeah. do you call so it, awning? All I did was I took the orange rod and I put it through here and I attached it into here. The orange the area, yeah, I see. Good morning. And then, and then you also connected this to... I, yes, I took these straps and I yeah. connected it to the trailer itself. And that holds it down. Okay, good. And this is it so far. Almost done. It's um, it's a nice, guess it's like a flower, it's a bubble. Guess, guess it's like a giant bubble yeah, here. So here's your step going in. You come inside and it's a pretty big place. It's pretty big in here. I mean, I'm six foot two and it's a good ceiling. Yeah, it's pretty large. So, um, we have one of these that go up against the wall. It goes like this and you can put all kinds of drinks and all kinds of things in there. It holds a lot of stuff including trash. So there's a lot of pockets for A lot of pockets everything. and stuff. I forgot to get these off. Oh yeah, normally you take those out first. Then you lay it down. It way. hangs like this here right there this is also your king size bed now what are these hard cardboard uh, these uh, help uh, support your mattress so they go on there's two beds um, you could or actually these are technically two couches at first and you can make it into a bed and they go in nicely so that's one side and then, and then there's one for the other on. side as well That's kind of your bedroll and or your cushion. They're self-inflating, so all you really have to do is just um, unhook this, unscrew it, and it'll self-inflate. They're actually pretty comfortable. They're they actually, um, I don't know, they're about an inch and a half thick when they're inflated. So the one thing I don't like about this camper, and I'll just say the don't likes at least one of them right now, since it's here, is the zipper, the door zipper. I mean, I like to open a door and close it. If only they had like a, an aluminum frame that you could just assemble and stick it in here where you can open it and close it. Otherwise you have to unzip it and come in. So we normally have a floor down. That's what some of this is. It's like glue, but your tr your tent trailer won't have carpet. that. We put carpet squares down when we're actually camping. Yeah. So. But it's pretty roomy in here. You have a lot of windows. Um, yeah. This window here fell down. It's open right there. It all opens up. And there's a window on a this screen. side. Um, yeah, we have two things that open up. So you actually have plastic and a screen. And a screen. So yeah. you have a, a plastic window a secure yeah. so a privacy screen or let air through yeah so which is really nice and this table is pretty strong it um is connected up there on a, on a thing a hose thing and then mr stowed away stowed all is uh perfect for these things because it just hangs and it just stores everything it's like a cabinet we put chips in there like pringles and drinks and there's so much room keys and so many things in here. it holds a lot of weight trash bags and these corner windows uh they can be um, everything's privacy be there's a privacy screen closed yeah. or open or you can look you out want. i can't really see much out there but it is a window well i do you can actually see quite a bit this window is better so which is really 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 nice so what is something that you didn't like about this besides the zipper door which i've mentioned yeah the zipper door is it's just i wish it was more of a real door but it works it's just causes a little bit of tension with the zipper and I don't want to ruin the zipper. Um, the other thing is, while it makes out into a really nice longer bed. Oh yeah. It's kind of a, but we have to take the table down and move Table's it, not here. put your pads on. There's two and um, them. screens that come down here. And that's fine. But what I don't like is by the time you're done with that, there's very little room to walk in. It's when like you eight walk inches, in and it? out, there's just barely enough room yeah, for your like this much. To stand up in here and then where do you put your bags it goes underneath so there's not a yeah. lot of room when that 
full bed is made out. That's really the only thing that it's uh it's actually a king size bed it's, it can sleep five people yeah it's so you got great. one two it's three huge. four five um just leaves very little room to stand up and dress or anything or even stand up and put it back into the the table form it uh leaves very little room to do yeah that. there's not much you almost have to keep the door open while you do this um i have changed clothes with the big bed here unfortunately yeah. again it's, you're really staring standing and it's it's very difficult to, uh, you know, take your shoes off or put your shoes on yeah. without having to go outside. It's doable. It's it's but good. But it can be challenging. But I do love the fact that this trailer. I mean, you could put anything in the back. We've put scrap metal, mm -hmm. and we went camping scrap metal. Yeah. We've had a, uh, not the ATV yet, but we've taken uh, two motorcycles. So we've taken this one and another one. Um, we saw we we've also taken uh, toys. Yeah, to we've, go gone sell to, the flea market. we've gone to a flea market flea market we, stuff. we used the trailer to hold the flea market supplies and then we went camping afterwards. So we just removed remove the, the items off and, the trailer and make the tents. Uh, we also use the trailer as a as like a platform to store our stuff while we're at the flea market. Yeah. We lifted it up and we were able to go in, walk in, unload stuff, come back out. We did um, back and forth. It was kind of nice. It was also a shaded area for us to s sit under. It's like a little garage or carport. You go in, you know, when it's in the up position. So there really isn't a lot of downsides to this trailer. I think most everything is an upside. Um, I think so. It, you make it in, you can make it into a tent. You can use it as a trailer to haul things. You can make yeah. it into a tent, um, which is off the ground. So you don't have to worry about snakes, snakes. or bugs oh. or, or ants or anything. Um, it's you have tall. tons of windows. Yeah, it's, ventilation. It's tall. Can you stand up in this? Oh, thing? it's like, this is very tall. It's like uh, at least six and a half okay. or seven foot almost. Okay, so it's he can stand tall. up fully. I can stand up fully. And there's fully. a lot of storage. Um, Lots of storage. Lots of storage. And it's light. This trailer oh, is so light. Pull it with a um, smart car. You can take it anywhere. And, and not even kidding, you can take it anywhere. It's off-road. Yeah, it's off-road. This is the one trailer I would never get rid of. I will keep this forever. Um, must have something to do with the permanent license plate tag. She never and has to register thing. anything. Yeah, you, you, well, you pay, we pay once and you never have to pay again. Yeah, because it's essentially a trailer. Essentially, it's, you, it's a utility, utility trailer. It's a utility it's, trailer. It is utility, which, and that's what we registered which under. We have a tent up in the ceiling of this trailer, yeah. and you can bring it down and use it for camping. So it's really, really nice there. I know this 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 is kind of silly. It, it's kind of a down a downer, you oh, know, this having is this. The, this is the other downer. But I mean, <laughs> it gives is, you tons yeah. of room underneath, though, where you don't have a leg. This is how you set so up your tons table. Of storage. You do have to you hook it here, and you have to have something that holds it up. And it does take away some room when you're doing. Yeah, you're hitting thing. this. But I like I like it in the fact that it's it, not uh, that bad. there's nothing here it. and there's no legs. I like that. Yeah, there's no legs. Yeah, it just. Nothing. And you can put and the all your ceiling, bags underneath. This is where we put clothes sometimes. We'll unzip it <laughs> and store some stuff up here. It's just a netted area. Yeah. So we have uh, two solid, uh, we have one solid wall and we have a solid um, ceiling. That's pretty much what we have in here. Um, I mean, it gives you protection. I mean, you can still hear out there, but it's it's actually a pretty good trailer. I uh, Again, I really like it. The door, I'm not super happy about but it is an awesome uh tenting camper it really is we also have um there's four jacks and they just um pop down from inside here's your jack tool right there that's your jack tool right here lots of storage we can even sweep out. We wouldn't have to sweep it out anyway, so we'll have to sweep it. So I think this is seven foot one inch long. So you got from the front headboard to the back is seven foot one. So we have, if you have a quad or a motorcycle that's beyond seven foot, this trailer may not be the good for that. Um, but it is very tall, close to seven foot tall. And it's only four, four foot two inches wide. So you got four foot two inch, or possibly three inches to get a quad in there. So four foot two or three inches. 
Um, again, I, I do like this. They, they, most of them come with a, uh, what do you call can, that? Another I think awning. You can purchase um, an additional awning. It's that like comes a out canopy. Further. It yeah. comes, it, it attaches to this somewhere. Right here's yeah. a zipper. This is where it you attaches. You can do that. So you can attach. Which makes a, a bigger room on oh. the outside. It's, it comes straight out. It's huge. It's yeah. a huge area. You don't Which have is, to buy anything else. Yeah. This isn't bad when you come out. It's like a little porch and you're dry from the rain. Yeah. Protect. This isn't bad. But again, you got a seven foot roughly by four foot area to, um, to walk in. And then you have the overhangs that come out. I don't know what the size of this is. It could be, that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It could be 10 foot wide. My guess is it's 10 foot wide. Didn't take us a whole long time to put this together. Uh, what do you think? 15, 20 minutes and two people can easily put this together. And then yeah, you just... easy, yeah. You, you get in it, put your sleeping bags in, and you sleep. Yeah. Um, very simple, very easy. This back step actually comes off. So you can put your, uh, your quad up, and it tilts. This is a tilt bed trailer. So um, I don't know if... Uh, other people tell it's a tilt bed, but it is a tilt bed. You just pull a pin and it lifts up. Kind of heavy though. It's kind of heavy to lift up. But we've camped with this for the last uh, more than two years. But this is a two-year review. So we've had it for more than two years. We've gone to Colorado. It was cold. It was 25 degrees. It was snowing. It's freaking um, snowing, 25 degrees. I wouldn't recommend taking this out into the snow. Because it's I wouldn't like either. a tent. But it's thick there's material. No heater or anything, but this is not just the tent material, though. You, you gotta understand, it, it's it's pretty thick material. It's pretty yeah. thick. It's a little thicker than most tents. But yeah, it was cold, but we had a little uh, stove and we heated it up. Yeah. The the ventilation is perfect in these trailers. Um, you know, hot air goes up, it rises. You got a plastic top. It's the heat from outside doesn't really go in, or the cold. Now. Um, the size of this is pretty cavernous. Take a look at how big it is. It's just huge in there. Um, we um, are putting the, the tent down, but I mean, it's it's pretty big. I mean, I can stand up in here. The ceiling is, is tall. It's at least, I don't know. It's, yeah, there's a lot of ceiling height here. Um, again, I'm six foot two and um, this is pretty high up and this is not the, the top that goes up a little bit more. But it's all uh, plastic and pretty tough stuff with aluminum. And that's what it looks like from the door going out. The door does have a window. It's got pockets. There's pockets here. There's a pocket on the other side. This is ventilation. Another pocket over here. So there's four pockets. There's plenty of storage in this trailer. Plenty of storage. So this um, trailer is pretty easy to take down. It's probably easier to take down than put up. Um, but you just first thing you do is you want to collapse your your tent These, material. Yeah. So we're so going to start with your little this. Um, your rods have to come out. They That's have to first come thing. Out. Okay. So we're putting it back up. Everything kind of fits in there. And you just got to make sure that the tent and all the materials with the uh, the little rods go in place. And it just creeps up there slowly. Up, but we want to both be on both sides. And then when you uh, when you push it all the way up, it'll snap. It'll, it'll snap. actually snap up inside. Like that. Yeah, it'll well, snap up easily. And then that's the bed. And then we're going to put the motorcycle up here. Again, I would suggest a cover if you had leave it outside we keep this in the garage so we don't have to worry about that well why don't you all check out another one of our videos do you want to say uh something here woman oh thanks for watching it, wait let's just do that together yeah i guess all right thanks, thanks for, for watching, watching. So we're going to do this uh, two-year 